Howdy folks, after a few years of hacking away at sites uh, via FTP, uh, just the live way, uh, the no frills uh, risky way, I am finally getting around to changing my workflow to bring sites down to my local machine and uh, work on them in a safer environment. Uh, that said, I recently brought down our Magento site onto my local machine. Uh, and I use the WAMP server stack uh, on my Windows 7 box and there were some settings that I needed to tweak because our Magento database is, is very large uh, and out of the box WAMP server isn't really set up to handle a database that large being imported uh, and I specifically use PHP my admin that comes with that with the WAMP server stack uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly get uh, Magento or any large database set up on your local machine using WAMP server. So let's go ahead and go to Google. Let's just Google WAMP server. Perfect. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's go ahead and download it. Downloads. I'm on a 64-bit machine. Sweet. I'll download it directly. Excellent. And while this is downloading, uh, I am going to go ahead and throw this on pause for a minute. All right. I've downloaded WAMP server. I'm going to go to my desktop. Start the install. Run. All right, and pretty much I can just accept all the defaults. It's going to go into CWAMP. That'll work. Um, yeah. Yep. All right, so the installer's finished now. I'm going to have to choose my default browser. I use Chrome, which always seems to install itself in some funky position. Um, or funky location position. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, uh, let's go to where is it? Uh, it's under users, my user account, app data. I want to say local. Yeah, there it is. Google Chrome application. Chrome, sweet. All right, so we've established our default browser. Allow access. Local host. Let's throw in my email. Oh God, can't type. All right, let's launch it now. Yes. All right, so we can see WAMP in the lower right corner. It's going to disappear in a sec probably. It's going to be up here. So now we know it's green. Uh, it is hopefully running. I think it should be running. Uh, let's check and see if it is running. Let's just pop open a browser. Uh, Internet Explorer. I don't know why I chose IE, but let's go to local host. Sweet. There's WAMP. All right. This is the home page for WAMP. Good. Now let's tweak those settings uh, in WAMP so that I can get a large database imported into PHP My Admin. So I'm going to go over this relatively quickly. If you do need uh, some uh, show notes or whatever you want to call them, hit up my site, uh, go to My Thoughts, which is my blog page, and just do a search for WAMP, W A M P, and it should pop up somewhere in the results. Uh, and I'll I'll put uh I'll put some notes there for you. But let's let's go ahead and tweak these these uh parameters that we need to change with PHP. So first off, uh let's go to the PHP INI file. So WAMP PHP PHP INI. It's gonna launch it up uh, in this file. So there is five parameters that we're gonna change. One, let's find it. Post max size. That's set to 8. We're going to change that to 750. Next one. 
let's search for find uh, upload max file size that's set to 2 I'm gonna change that again to 750 next one max execution time Depending on your system, it's going to take a long time. Uh, system, Risa, your your CPU and resources available, and the size of your database. It is going to take a long time to get your database imported. So we're going to increase this value from thirty to five thousand five thousand seconds. That is. Uh, next parameter we're going to change is max input time we're gonna change that to 5000 as well lastly I'm gonna change the memory limit I'm gonna change that to a thousand okay I'm going to save those changes. Close out this file. Now, with any changes you make to your PHP INI, your PHP configuration, we're going to go ahead and restart all services. Okay, now there is one more setting that we will need to tweak. And that setting is specific to if you're importing databases using PHP my admin which I am a designer I'm a front end guy I will use any GUI type tool that I can get my hands on that's reputable so PHP my admin is a fantastic tool for uh, uh, tweaking your databases uh, modifying values and the like so we're gonna go ahead and use that to import our database from our hosted server uh, into our local instance that we're creating with WAMP. So, that in mind, what we have to tweak for the PHP My Admin is a config file for it. That config file is located in, in my case, I have installed WAMP in the root drive, uh, WAMP. Uh, it's in apps, PHP My Admin. And it's config.inc. Ah, uh, goodness. This is going to open up in Dreamweaver, which is going to take eight years. Extension manager, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's, let's close this out, folks. I haven't used Dreamweaver for some time. I'm going to make you bear with me just to see how aggravating it is to wait for Dreamweaver. Uh, let's right click this. Let's open with, let's choose a default program. Let's find a different one. Oh, for the love of God. There we go. Sublime Text 2. We're going to go with Sublime Text. Okay, gee, wasn't that slow. All right, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a line here. And that line is going to be, um, I'll make a comment, but here we go. All right. Uh, increase timeout limit for importing databases. All right, we'll just throw that comment in there. We'll save this. Close all of this out. I'll save that for later, except exit. Now let's go into our browser. Let's get back to IE. Go 
go into local host crank up php my admin and we will choose our database test import choose our file and we can see right here that this value has been updated to 750 megs and we are good to go now it could take a while uh, I was running on an i7 with 12 gigs of, of RAM uh, and a 10k hard drive and it took uh, roughly an hour to import uh, my database again I have a large large database for Magento but it can take some time uh, so Hopefully, this will help some of you out, and uh, thanks for staying with me as I ramble through and fumble through this. Take care.